Hey there, I'm Luke the Cooking Camper along with Zena the Glamper Camper. She just got back from a vet visit. She's having some issues with some discs in her back, so she has to be on super light duty for the next six weeks. So to do that, we got a playpen for her. Mom Bebe, it's from Walmart. Really cool thing is, online this is like $135, and in the store it's only 98. So we just got this, and we're just gonna do a little unboxing video. I really don't know how they fit all this stuff in this little box, but we'll see. We have to pick her up to take her outside. So I wanted something where she could be sitting up so we did not have to bend over so far. So when you open it up, you have three separate pieces. We'll just unzip that. Okay, there's the playpen itself. Keep center up to lock rails. We did get one on wheels so that we can um, wheel her outside. Okay, and then I guess you just push it down like that. Sweet. Then we have a little piece attached to the side. I love the colors of this. So here's the actual instructions. This is what I just did. So first, hold the center, lock the sides, push it, and then push down the center. It also does have instructions in there too. This is like the second level, I believe.
Okay, and then here is a zipper. So I've got to find a zipper somewhere. That is not the right corner. So it'd have to go this way. Let's read the instructions. Okay, so this does not go down there. I don't think. No, that is a bassinet with bars. Okay, so this says place mattress with soft side up. Okay, now, so I do have to put this bassinet thing in there. So, the bars are on the inside. So the bars go this way. zipper is right here so we'll turn it that way and then right here there's a spot to hook in the zipper I don't know why I thought this assembly was going to take five minutes. Okay, and then the zipper does get velcroed down. Now, you push your little holes together. Sweet. So now it looks like that on the inside. What I just did was pushed these poles into each other. Now, prepare mattress by folding hook and loop under mattress. Okay, I don't understand. 
Where is the mattress? And this is a carrying bag. That is a baby thing. Do I have to buy a mattress? I'm very confused. Or is the carrying bag also the mattress? So the mattress cushion is also the carrying bag. Okay. Okay, so on the inside it is actually soft. Okay, so we are undoing the Velcro. And then folding it back the other way. Undoing the Velcro. Putting it back the other way. Now here is the mattress, which feels kind of hard to me, but it does have a little bit of a cushion. And then it did just Velcro down. So now the inside looks like that. So for the purpose of this video, I do still want to put together the other things and the changing table might be good for Xena to just like sit on if she ever wants to be even higher. So let's, the changing table is this. Really soft thing. Yes, possibly. Or is it this one? This has mesh, so I don't think it's that. I think it's this one. So this is what the changing table looks like. Locate the two hidden seams. Create changer rim by connecting the bars and attach to the short side. Okay, so. These had to be attached. So pull that stuff off. And then you push it together. Okay, you got one side. Do this side. Okay, so we have that. And then it says, pick it on to the side. shows a little green button. Ooh, there's a green button on this side too, though. Okay. 
and then it just sits on the side, I guess. Like that. And Ooh, that's um it shows you clip the pins together and then it says that the clips are supposed to line up so maybe because the whole idea is that when it's not in use it flips over So the clip just needs to go on the outside. Ooh, this clip is actually broken. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this, I'm gonna move you. This clip arrived broken. No bueno. But if it wasn't broken, there's still not enough. It would clip in just like that. I will try to show you guys this side. So the clip has to come out right here. And then it clips on like that. And then you can change your baby up there. But obviously we won't be changing Xena. And that other clip is broken, which is a huge disappointment. We are gonna fold it down. So now it's out the way. So now, we just did this, now it's out of the way. If you remove it, just press to take it off. Now for this thing. Infant bassinet. Just click in the sides and put it down on the other side. Okay, let's try it. And you guys can see the other side. Who knows, Zeno you know, might want to sit in this thing. Hmm. Okay. These push things are hard to get in. Maybe if I get the other side started, it will go in. Whew. See this thing, it's like, why couldn't this have already been put together in the box? It is like really hard. Overall, I think this thing is quite difficult to put together. I 
I feel like I'm gonna rip the fabric. Okay, a little bit more. Oh my goodness. Ooh, finally. Holy guacamole, that was difficult. Seems kind of weird. It's not like this feels tight, but I guess that's how it's designed to be. Oh, it's supposed to be like this. Okay, I get it. Now, just like that thing clipped in on that side, you push it right onto this green edge. Oh, I hate how these are there. I'm sure they're for safety, but put them on the outside. They're really ugly. And then this just clips right on the side. That's nice and secured. Yeah, Xena could totally hang out in that part. And then this, push it down and clip it on. Just in case we, um, obviously this is made for a baby. Just in case we give this to someone or sell it to someone with a baby, I'll, I'll see if they can send me just this piece because this is the broken piece. But it is all put together. Feels like it took me about 20 years. Oh, I like This thing clips on. It's right here. But why is that? This thing does not make any sense. Oh, it clips on inside. So it would clip on right there. This would clip on right on the other side. And then there's Velcro to hold that down. But it it doesn't go back. I mean, I guess it does, but. Yeah, that's kind of cheap feeling, I think. Because then these are just hanging on by the little button if you wanted to leave it on. But then if you left it on, it's kind of hard to get back in there, I guess. Probably take this off. Zeno will not be needing that part. And then actually, if you flip this, I don't really know why you'd want to, but you could use both if you had like twins, maybe, I think. But I'm gonna take this off. I am gonna leave this on though, just in case we wanna put her in there. But yeah, now I'm gonna get it set up for Xena by putting like a bed and some toys and her water dish in there. But if you're an actual parent, I mean, I don't know if this is worth it, but it looks really cool. Seems high quality except for that broken piece, which when you're talking about babies, one broken piece is a big deal. But I'm out of breath. This thing was hard to put together. Really hard to put together, actually. And honestly, I don't really think that the, it looks really nice still, but this, like the things that go inside of it don't really match it. Like this is like blue camo with browns, and then this is like fuzzy silver. I don't know. The bottom of it matches, the bottom looks blue, but this part kind of looks 
out of place, I think. One more thing I just wanted to cut in real fast, and obviously I'm not using this for like a baby, so I understand like safety warnings, but it just like looks really ugly. Like I feel like they have them in the most obvious places. I mean, make the label, like instead of white, make it brown. I mean, the box says that this is baby inspired, but it's all about fashion or design or whatever. And I mean, the warnings are just ugly. Sorry, that's probably immature of me to say, but they are. I mean, I bought this thing to look good. It doesn't look terrible, but the warnings just annoy me. And it's also on wheels. So you can pick it up and push it around. They also support this charity. So that's cool that they're giving back. Well, if you like this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit that bell so that you see the next time me and Zena upload a new video. Get out and enjoy nature and food as much as we do. Have a great one.